Hi YouTube, today we are making another super delicious recipe. We are making a Sri Lankan crispy roast, a bread, we call it roast pan in Sri Lanka. So I'm gonna make it for maybe like eight to nine roast, roast bread. Um, here I put here half a kilo of uh, plain flour, all purpose flour, exactly 500 grams. And I'm gonna make my yeast here. So that's about four teaspoon of yeast, exactly four teaspoon of yeast for half a kilo. So we're going to uh, try and activate the yeast. That's a 4 teaspoon of yeast straight from the packet. And then we're going to add uh, 6 teaspoon of sugar. There you go. Sugar. And then after the sugar, we're going to add a cup of water. 1 cup of water and give it a good mix find a teaspoon find a tablespoon give it a good mix mix it up let the sugar and the water and the yeast mix up and then cover it up and we wait for the yeast to get activated you don't want to put pour this straight away into the flour you want to cover it up and make sure the yeast activates before you mix it up with the uh, all-purpose flour so I'm gonna uh, cover it up in the meantime I'm gonna uh, make a bit of uh, space in the center of the flour and add a teaspoon of salt and then there you go it's just activated after 10 to 15 minutes of covering it up and then I'm throwing the yeast straight into the center of the flour there you go that's how it looks when the yeast is activated and then i'm going to do the hard work i'm going to use my hands if you got the uh, machine you can put it on the machine mixture at this stage i prefer using my hands i'm mixing it up very well make sure you don't have any lumps and uh while the mixing process is going on, we need to add about two tablespoons of coconut oil. Uh, the coconut oil here is uh, frozen because it's winter here. It's very frozen. Hopefully in Sri Lanka, you will have it as a liquid. So we need about three to four tablespoons of coconut oil. The coconut oil adds different nice flavor uh, to the uh, bread. Mix it up mix it very well so that's the coconut oil i'm using here that's the extra virgin organic coconut oil i found it later this uh afternoon in the supermarket so i'm giving it a good mix this is the hard part might that takes this takes a while but it's worth it you get some good uh, bread out of this so it's worth it you know hard work if you got the machine it's all good you know it's just straight away you know you get the dough from the machine so at this stage you need to have a cup of water next to you while you're making the dough uh, so it depends on how much water you need so add water as it's required and make sure you just nicely mix the dough and make it to a nice and uh, nice make it to a nice uh, shape to a shape like this uh, make sure you don't have any lumps and cover it up with a damp cloth uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes and it's gonna uh, increase the size in volume it's gonna double the size after about 30 minutes exactly 30 minutes and look at that I'm gonna show you uh, exactly after 30 minutes this is how it looks like uh, that's increased in volume because of the yeast so that's the double the size now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the tray that's the tray we're gonna use for the bread making the bread so I've sprayed some oil coconut oil I'm spraying some coconut oil and uh, and after I'm going to uh, release the air inside the dough, just give it a good press, just press the dough and uh, it releases the air inside. And then uh, what you got to do is just make it a nice uh, uh, and fine ball 
and we are going to uh, uh, make small balls weight uh, 85 to 90 grams each um, if you don't have, have a weight machine a weight scale you can just uh, make it to the standard size but uh, it's better to be in uh, 85 to 90 grams of each ball so I'll try and uh, try my best to make at least eight to nine uh, balls so I, I at least have eight to nine bread we are almost getting close to uh, making the bread and uh, make, I'm making this after a long time I missed Sri Lankan roast bun especially I love roast bun so much uh, for my morning breakfast uh, evening snack or maybe even for dinner so just try and make it to uh, uh, balls like this it has it doesn't need, it does not need to be perfect just just the standard bowl you know and then uh, we're gonna uh, make it to a uh, square shape just just push it on the flat surface make sure you got some oil on the surface and then nicely you're gonna put it on the flat surface and, and you're gonna make it uh, into a uh, shape something like this this shape a little bit curved on top and then flat from the bottom and then you're going to place it uh, in the tray in the baking tray you need to have a tray something like mine you can find it easily on supermarket and now we're going to put it in the tray uh, but it has to be in between uh, oil paper or baking sheet better for the uh, the bread to be in between uh, two baking sheet so you can easily remove it once it's cooked uh, so this is how we're gonna do it uh, so I put a I put a baking sheet there something like that and then we're gonna place the uh, dough uh, after the baking sheet and we're gonna continue doing it until I fill my tray so you got a baking sheet you got the dough and you've got a baking sheet you've got the dough we're going to repeat this process so it's easy for me to remove uh, the bread and separate the bread after it's cooked after it's baked also yeah so I'm gonna place one after the other and it's the bread is in between two baking sheet so it's pretty much the same we are gonna keep repeating the process uh, so we're gonna place the bread uh, in between the oil paper or the baking sheet so it's pretty much simple it's straightforward so it's just uh, making it to a shape like this and placing it in between two uh, papers like that we separate it so after it's baked it's easy for me to remove it baking sheet or oil paper whatever you have access to it's pretty straightforward so it looks similar like this so I'm gonna cover this with a damp cloth or maybe for 15 to 10 minutes and let it increase in volume after that I'm gonna bake it uh, at 180 degrees for 30 minutes now it's uh, increased in volume just after 15 to 10 minutes and I'm gonna drizzle some coconut oil right on top of the bread so it uh, has a nice uh, crispy flavor on the top and also it adds a nice flavor once you drizzle the coconut oil it's beautiful so I'm gonna drizzle some coconut oil nice and quick And now I'm gonna bake it at 180 degrees for 30 minutes there you go it's baking I have the clock ready uh, after 30 minutes 
I'll be back. Now it's been 30 minutes since I put it in the oven. It's nice and uh, nicely baked. Look at that, my! I've got the rose pan, my! Oh my God, that looks so beautiful. It, look at that! It looks so yummy, so beautiful, nice and crispy on the top. Now I'm gonna separate it, and the center part is not cooked. It's about 10 to 15 percent cooked. The bottom and the top layer is cooked to perfect. I'm gonna remove this separately and I'm gonna place it on a, a baking tray and I'm gonna uh, bake it at 180 degrees for 10 minutes and the bread it will be nice and crispy. Let me try and remove the bread. Oh, let, me, let me try and remove the bread. Man, I can't just wait to eat the bread. I'm so hungry. It looks so... It's, came out really well uh, I've got here is a small bread because my tray is very small if you want it to, uh, if you want a large bread you can buy a large baking tray and you can get the size uh, that you get in Sri Lanka but this is just a mini a mini bread it's just a small version of the Sri Lankan bread the roast pan is so yummy it looks so delicious Mike this is just to the next level I haven't had it for nearly six to seven months so the middle part, the center part of the bread is uh, 50 to 40% uh, cooked, it's not fully cooked. So I'm going to uh, put it in two separate trays and cook it on 160 degrees for 10 minutes and, and it's done. Look at that, it's not cooked, it's just 50 to 40% cooked. So let me separate it into two separate baking trays and then we're going to cook it again for 160 degrees for 10 minutes guys you don't want to keep it more than 10 minutes you're gonna burn the bread yeah so we're gonna put four by four I think and then go straight into the oven 160 degrees 10 minutes so both the sides cook get cooked baked evenly and now waiting time and it's done so I'm going to take it out of the oven all you got to do right now is the bread is ready make some spicy Sri Lankan shredded coconut uh, get some pulse sambal and just enjoy it look at that I can't I can't wait to dig in that looks so delicious I have the Sri Lankan spicy shredded pulse sambal I have a piece of bread which I bake straight from the oven my this is so delicious oh my it's just melting in my mouth this is just heaven oh my I'm just going back to my uh, village this is my favorite snack during my evening time when I can't just just fight oh, this is so delicious hope you guys like it enjoy it and thank you for watching do subscribe